Wait, here's the thing, guys. Your logo is so close to Scrub Daddy's. You use the same font, right? For but the record, Scrub Daddy, we thought of this Scrubby. Before Scrub Did Daddy you existed. think about this <laughs> while you were doing it? Not like, at all. Did Laurie rarely gets into it with the contestants on Shark Tank, but sometimes she can't hold back and has to call people out. Today, we will look at moments where Laurie called people out for being scammers and copycats. Hi, Sharks. I'm Kelly Coughlin. And I'm Jen Dees. And we are the creators of Hearst Case. We are here seeking a $55,000 investment in exchange for 12% in our company. Jen and Kelly came to the Shark Tank thinking they had something never seen before, that they had a revolutionary product for all the ladies around the world that will help them with their no-pocket situation. Introducing Purse Case, the first ever smartphone clutch that's elegantly designed with just your phone and your essentials in mind. Now, you can keep your cash, cards, and ID all at your fingertips in the most stylish way. The product itself wasn't bad. It even had a small built-in mirror for makeup emergencies. But the first thing they were asked when they finished their pitch was this. Kelly, I just, I just came back from Europe. We're in Italy, and you see cases that look exactly like this for phones. You do, but covers. not with a pocket. That's the only difference. Yeah. So everything you're showing me here, including the little handle, is all over Europe in those little cheap stores, except the pocket. That's Correct. right. They admitted to it without any issues. That was the smart decision to make, since that helped the conversation to shift to the numbers, which looks really good, just as our videos do. So do drop us a like to show support. Our margins are really good. 88% when we sell direct online, and then 71%. You don't find a little steep at 38 for the online order? We've had no resistance to the price whatsoever. Ladies, you should be selling it for $19.95 and you'd sell 10 times more. The irony is when Mr. Wonderful is talking about being steep, but after fighting him off and even telling the Sharks about a deal that gives them a $1 million credit line, but then Laurie decided to crash their parade. Do you know I sell something that looks really similar to that already? Didn't know that. Ooh. On QVC. What does it look like? It looks very much like that. The duo seemed genuinely shocked by this. Robert didn't care too much about it and declared himself out because of the same reason. Barbara went out as well, just for the reason of not getting any deal, as always. And after having Mark go out as well, Kevin decided to do this. So, here's an offer for you. I give you $55,000, I get a dollar a unit until... I get my $55,000 back, and then I get 75 cents a unit in perpetuity. Wow. Thank your you offer. for your offer. Thank you, but no thank you. That is the response of most of the contestants to Kevin's perpetuity deals. Laurie then decided to surprise everyone. It is very much like something that I already sell. But because I've sold hundreds of thousands no. of my own, I think that I can sell hundreds of thousands of these too. So, I'm going to make you an offer. And my offer is 55,000, 15%. That's it. Laurie put her ego aside and made a smart and logical decision to the duo's surprise. They got exactly what they were asking for. Laurie, That's a deal. you got a deal. <laughs> <laughs> like, no questions asked. You basically gave us exactly what we wanted. But Kelly, and Jen, what you. about Kevin's offer? <laughs> Offer, but we came in here for Laurie. Kevin's offer got a laugh out of them for the road, but Mr. Wonderful didn't seem to mind it too much. It's rare that basically a scam of something else gets a deal. But in this case, we can say that it was the right choice since the business saw a lot of success, unlike the last one on our list. My name is Ryan Naylor, and I am the founder of SO Watches. SO Watches is a silicone watch company focused on fashionable designs infused with negative ion technology. We are seeking an investment of $35,000 in exchange for 20% of the company. If you watched our videos before, you will know just about everything about this negative iron scam. But this was one of those rare pitches where Laurie had to speak up. But before that, let's watch and laugh at the situation where Mark blatantly refuses to even look at the product. Mark, are you allergic to positive negative ion stuff? No, I'm allergic to scams. Seriously, this is not new. It's been disproven. There's athletes that wear it. It's a joke. It's a scam. It's not real. I'm out. 
Ryan had a rough start and seemingly his five minutes of fame were cut down to five seconds and the emotional damage done to him could be seen on his face. Sales from a $10,000 investment were $120,000 in just 12 months. Ryan managed to scam a lot of people and since his margins were good, he managed to make some money off these poor souls as well. But Laurie wanted to know more about the product. When we're melting the silicone into the molds, we put the negative ion chemical into the silicone. With a wand? You're saying they constantly emit out of here. How do you know when they run out? He almost had a stroke after telling so many lies in one sentence, but Laurie was more concerned about the product's legitimacy. Do you have laboratory testing on this? Independent laboratory testing that Hell shows no. that it really works? Hell no! You have to have independent laboratory testing that shows your claims. Otherwise, the FTC is going to be all over you. No, we don't have any. Laurie shared her wisdom with Ryan, who was ignoring the accusations like a pro. But after saying that he doesn't have any testing results since it's normal not to have them, Laurie said this. It's been around for years. I've got to say, I think this is a liability nightmare. You don't have any claims that you can back up, so I'm out. He managed to get accused of design stealing by Damon in the meantime. All of the sharks went out, leaving just Kevin, who made Ryan a very interesting offer. There's been a lot of interesting discussion about scam here today. Now, how about this? If you admit it's a scam, maybe I'll invest. Is it a scam? I don't, I don't believe it is. He is not only a scammer and a copycat, but he's also delusional as well. Needless to say that Ryan went home without getting a deal. Will the next entrepreneurs manage to trick the sharks into a deal? Hi, sharks. My name's Matt. I'm Jeff. And I'm Tyler. And we're seeking $100,000 in exchange for 10% of our company called The Scrubby. It's called the what? The Scrubby! Laurie has asked herself the same question for sure, since we all know that these guys are trying to piggyback off the success of the globally popular Scrub Daddy. Scrubby is a universal cleaning attachment that turns your ordinary sink sprayer into a supercharged cleaning machine. By harnessing high pressure water and putting a scrubbing attachment right where you need it, the Scrubby cuts down cleaning time and conserves water. And since you're not physically touching the scrubber, you can clean using hot water with no worries about burning your hands. Oh! The sharks weren't worried about that, but the fact that there is also a dish cleaning product only made it an even more obvious scam than the previously successful products, and the accidental similarities didn't stop there. The Scrubby has a threaded interior, so you can take it outdoors and screw it right onto your garden hose. That's right, sharks. Use it to clean off your outdoor tables and chairs, your car wheels and tires, your windows and doors, your boat. Your coolers. The product itself wasn't a huge miss, we have to be honest, but what will the sharks have to say to the trio? And what are the replacement sponges? Well, we're selling them for $9.99 for three of them, and that's on a subscription base. So every two months, you get three sponges. So a Scrubby subscription? Scrub subscription? I bet Scrub Daddy doesn't have subscription. <laughs> Guys, can to. I just make a comment about it? The first time I've ever seen it. It's ugly. Mark also made the joke, since it was obvious to him as well, but Mr. Wonderful saying that it's ugly right off the bat was even more hilarious. But if the sales are good, we know that Kevin will invest in just about anything. These are manufactured units. What kind of sales we got? Okay, so 2019, um, the Scrubby is an amazing product. It's one of a kind. It's the first of its kind. In a you first of the adjectives, there's no number that's a bad. Right. Yes, we have. Two patents and one in the application Utility process. patents? One utility patent and one pending. So, guys, is there tell a us number? About sales. That's one way to avoid a question, a pretty obvious one at that. But the sharks didn't want adjectives, they wanted numbers. 2019, we, we did a launch at a local trade show in Wichita, and we killed it. Everybody loved What's this one. killed it? And <laughs> so, we, so, in those two days, we sold a couple hundred scrubbies. How many dollars? <laughs> Did they actually think that the sharks are not going to ask them about their sales? Their patience was slowly growing thinner and thinner, and after basically pulling it out of their mouths, they finally said the number. What Give me 2019 sales. I've asked you five times. So, so total, we've sold 868 scrubs. How many dollars is that? That is right around $13,000. Oh. That's why they were trying to hide it. They wanted to be the daddy of the scrubby tools, but didn't even qualify to be considered part of the family. But when asked about the projected sales, average Dumb and Dumber continued their antics, making Kevin say this. It's never good when Mr. Wonderful, who loves numbers, asks you, what were sales in 2019? What are sales in 2020? And there's a lot of that. I mean, just give me a number. Right, so total sales to date is 868. Dollars? 868 scrubbies. 
Maybe Tyler should have taken a break and let some of the other guys talk since there was no way it could get any worse. But as Mark told, they were guessing, ending up on a $320,000 future sales projection. But Laurie wanted to address the elephant in the room. So I'm curious, have you been watching Shark Tank a long time? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, seen a lot of them. Seen a lot of them. Who did your packaging in your logo? One of our graphic designers, it was a friend of mine. So I, I want to go back to the numbers, question. and I only have two Kevin, questions. No, why did Laurie, you so rudely interrupt me? Remember, Lori, I'm working on an anger management this free. season. It's not working, Kevin. You are still the maddest and baddest shark next to Mark, but when Lori eventually managed to get back to her point, she said this. Here's the thing, guys. Your logo is so close to Scrub Daddy's. You use the same font, right? But For the record, Scrub Daddy, we of this Scrubby, before Scrub did Daddy you existed. think about this <laughs> while you were doing it? Not like, at all. Did, it never crossed your mind because it's it's a really um, very coincidental. Really? That it's the same Honestly, font. Honestly, no. Mark went out using a basketball metaphor, saying that in 24 minutes of the game, they managed to get no baskets, no assists, and no rebounds, since they only sold $13,000 in lifetime sales. And Laurie shortly followed for the obvious reason, which was that this was a ripoff of Scrub Daddy. When your logo's really close, I don't like that, and I don't want confusion on the market. So I'm out. Laurie wasn't happy with this even being in the Shark Tank. Daniel followed shortly after, and Robert couldn't believe that in two years they didn't manage to sell more since the product itself wasn't terrible, only leaving Kevin as the lone shark. I am an investor. I have $100,000. I have no reason to give it to you. I'm out. Mark made sure to cut their talk and finally put a stop to this disastrous pitch. The product was good, but the entrepreneurs were awful. If you want to see some strange products that will make you wonder why, click here.